So Fiery View is EFI's entry-level document assembly solution, which allows Office users to take various Microsoft Office documents as well as PDF files and merge them into one document and prepare them for print. Let me show you how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add three files into Fiery View. So I click the Add Files option and I select these three files and hit Open. From there, the files will load up into Fiery View. The left hand side is a thumbnail view. The center is our finished view. I'm going to switch this over to a thumbnail view in the center so we can assemble this a little bit easier. So first I'm going to take this order form and put it between pages 7 and 8 of this newsletter. And then I'm going to take this presentation and I'm going to then move those between pages 7 and 8 in the newsletter so you can see how quickly I was able to merge these three documents into one. Some other things I'd like to do with this document. I do not want page 2 printing on the inside of page 1. So I can do a right click on page 2, hit section, and start, and this will throw a blank page into my document. So I have page 2 printing on a new sheet, not on the back of page 1. Another thing we could do, if I don't want these to be in color, I want them to be black and white, I can select them and come over to this robust toolbar, select color, and then black and white, and you'll see it will provide a visual interpretation of which pages will be color and black and white. Another cool feature I like is the ability to orientate these into portrait mode and scale and fit them to page. So I can use the pages per sheet option, and by selecting two pages per sheet, you'll see how quickly we were able to move it from being uh, landscape to now portrait, and scaled and fit so it's easier to read. And finally, since I've merged all these documents together from three different sources, I can then use the insert annotation option and put page numbers in the center. So I'm going to select page numbering. I don't want it to print on the first page, but I do want it to be a different font. We'll make it bold, we'll make it larger. And once we hit OK and save it, now we have our page numbers on the document. Once we have this all assembled the way we like, we can now use the finishing options in the tool area that are attached to our printer. So if I want to make it a corner staple, we can put corner staple on, go down to our finish view, and now you see when we page through it, it's going to show what it's going to look like if we end up using a corner staple. If I don't like that, maybe I'll assemble this with a ring bind. That might look a little bit more professional. But yet again, I don't want to have a finished size of 8.5 by 11. I want this to be statement size. So then we could actually use other options, which will create a half size manual, which will scale this down to a statement size, do oral the orientation for us, to now have a statement size finished book. So this is an example of some things you can do with Fire Review. Again, free solution from EFI geared towards Office users who are using Microsoft Office products.